this is a pizza bagel back with another terrible video <laughs> um so today we're going to be looking at this beast that i've just obtained recently this is the second you move turn around this is the dell optiplex gx 280 tower uh there were different models of this but this is the biggest and probably the most powerful <laughs> um well let's get right into it um yeah so, let's start with what's on the front. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, the camera's being weird. Um, if I can, uh, I don't have a flashlight with me, do I? Um, one second, let me go grab that. Okay, that's better. Just got a little flashlight here, so as you can tell. Uh, the light's not the greatest. This flashlight's not even very good. It's, like, really flashy. But yeah, we've got a DVD-ROM drive. Another DVD-ROM drive right there. Uh, there's a flop, three, and a, three and a half inch floppy drive there, which is something I did not have before. we got a microphone, headphone, tint, two USB ports, power buttons right there. This one's not plugged in. I have actually another one over there hooked up. Um, but this one does not work, and I'll show you, uh, I'll tell you why once I open up the computer. Let's go on to the back, and I'll show you what's on the back. A little interesting, actually, about what's on the back. Okay, so we've got, obviously, the power. Uh, we've got normal sound stuff, power sound stuff. A grand total of six, uh, total of eight, six on the back, two on the front. Ethernet, parallel, serial, and VGA. Interesting thing is, both of these computers are missing the little screw holes on the VGA port, which is a little frustrating, but it's not that much of a problem. There's also the dial-up modem card right here. Now, these are servers. These were used as servers before I got them. They were used as servers in the chiropractic office. Um, and this one over here, the one here that's all hooked up, this one has a whole... This one has two hard drives and one and a half gigs of RAM. It's the same thing as this computer, uh, but just has a hard drive and RAM. This one does not. Uh, so I'm going to open up the computer and I'll be right back once I get it turned over on its side. Okie dokie, we're back and the camera just went out of focus for some reason. Okay, um, so to open up this computer is pretty simple. We gotta pull back this latch I'm going to have to set the camera down. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull back this latch back here. As you can tell, I'm pulling back this latch. See this? Okay. I'm going to set this down. And because I can't, I don't have to do, I have to use two hands. Oh dear. Um, let me grab a little lever. I need this something that uses a lever. It's a little difficult to open just with the fingers. I do need to grab a screwdriver right here somewhere. I need something to get in there and sort of lever it out. Oh, there it is. I see it. Right on top of the table. Okay. So I've got the levers. I've got the, um, how do I call it? I keep calling it a lever. It's a screwdriver. <clears throat> so we're going to pull back the hinge thing. And I'm going to stick the screwdriver there. Not too much. Okay. And I lift it up. And as you can tell, it's sort of like lifted up the cover here so now i can let go of the hinge let go of the thing and i can just lift this cover right off and set it to the side this thing is very dusty i have not cleaned it out yet but i do intend to as you can tell there's no hard drive this is a spot where a hard drive would go there's not one in here because it didn't come with one in it in there at all um, so this one's not just not broken. It just has no hard drive and no RAM. As you can tell, there's some pretty big RAM slots. There's a total of four. They're just huge. Maybe I can use my flashlight to sort of like show you. Look at these. These are the RAM slots. They're huge. It's crazy. Um, there's a little, little heatsink here. I'm guessing that I'm going to guess that's the graphic card. I don't know for sure. Uh, may not be, but uh, dang it, this... Flashlight is weird. Uh, under this huge heatsink is the processor. 
this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's just weird. It's way even weirder than the, uh, um, the one inside the other computer, which I have over there. That's the one I've been using before. But yeah, uh, this is obviously some sort of cable for things. Oh, it's for the floppy drive. Um, yeah, it's the floppy drive cable. So you can tell, as on the board, it says floppy. I hope you can see that right there. It's hard to see. We can get in there a little bit more. There, you can see it now, floppy. Um, this is Dell. I should have said that, it's Dell. Holy cow, that's a lot of that. Here's the little um, dial-up modem card. It's really small. This is made in like mid-2000s, a little earlier maybe. Don't know. But, looks great. And as far as I know, the CR2032 is still working just fine. And here's all the ports on the side. Here's the parallel port. Ethernet. USB, all kinds of stuff is here. Normal stuff, normal stuff. Oh boy. Um, power stuff is here as well. I don't like to get in too close because I'm afraid my asthma will start kicking up and I'll start coughing. Um, look at that gigantic fan. It, there's a gigantic fan in there. No, but it's awfully big and awfully dusty. Hard to see. There we go. That's better. Um, CD, there's, here's the DVD drives. Right here. Um, Flavi drives right here. And here's the power supply. Dell power supply. It, as far as I know, it works. About it, though. Nothing else. You know, it's just a little interesting thing. Oh, okay. Actually, before I forget, let me mention this. So this is the first... Oh, boy. Uh, this is still XP. XP Professional. So there are two normal PCI slots. Oh, oh hey, look. I did not see that before, actually. I missed this. There's two? Oh my goodness. This f flashlight is driving me nuts. Um, there's a, Here's a PCI Express 16 and a PCI Express 4. It's a lot smaller, but I'm going to put a wireless card in this thing. Had I noticed this before, that would be super useful. But there's nothing there. But yeah, it's super cool that that's here. Stickers. Yeah, so uh, there are two PCI Expresses and a PCI. That's awesome. I did not notice that before. This is just brand new stuff that just just noticed. This thing actually doesn't have any PS2 keyboard or mouse supports, which is interesting. But that allows me to be un that makes it uh, make me unable to use uh, this right here. I'm doing a video on the Specom uh, Vision Cam, and it gets it, it obviously it transmits data through a parallel cable. But it gets power through a PS2 keyboard cable. So I can't use it with this computer. And all the software I have is on floppy. This computer doesn't have a floppy drive, but it does have the keyboard port. So, yeah, that kind of screwed a couple, kind of some things up for me. But now we're going to power this baby on. I have a second one here that's all hooked up and ready. Yeah. And I'll tell you a little bit of how I was able to get into it previously. I just stopped the recording for a second. I don't know why I did that. This thing's nice and quiet. It's a lot quieter than the other one. The other fan on the power supply is broken. Wait. I forgot to turn on the monitor TV thing. So this power's on. Listen to that. Beautiful sound. Okay, look at that. Windows XP booting up. It always does this adjust, figures out, figures out what the heck it's doing. Boom! Windows XP, it's here. It looks kind of cool on camera, but not as cool in person. Let me move this empty bottle out. I mean to throw it inside the computer. Crazy bottle. <laughs> um, this thing does take a heck of a long time to start up. Probably because of the hard drives and such. Um, but this thing has a uh, Pentium 4. Uh, actually, it does have a Pentium 4, obviously. Just like this computer. This computer also has a Pentium 4. <laughs> But it's a little slower. This one's faster. Um, interestingly, okay, I got my Dell keyboard, my Dell mouse. Um, yeah. So obviously, as you can tell, this is from a chiropractic office. Front desk and Cairo Touch. This is probably something for chiropractic. I don't know. Understand? But here's the thing: they both had passwords. And the hint for this, I think it's still there. If I click here. Hint is ask Rick. Um, this is from my mom's work. Thanks, mom, by the way. Uh, Rick is the IT guy. She's never seen him, so. 
yeah. It's a little, being a little slow, as you can tell. But what I did is I did some crazy hacking, and I was able to change the all the passwords to the word password. The password is just password. Boom! Now I was finally able to get into her. Um, now there's a lot of personal patient information that I'm working to get off of here. I'm working to just get off of here because that's personal information. I don't want to have that here. So, yeah, that's just, like, not cool. Yeah. And so, as you can tell, it's taken quite a while. I set this wallpaper. It didn't come like this. And I put the delete folders in the center of the universe. That's a new folder. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here before. I've installed a couple new things myself. Like, um, the Magic Disk stuff. Magic ISO. I put those in myself. Um, because I put in these floppies here. I wanted to save those. I plan to put those on a CD-ROM. So I can use it in this, in this computer. Because it was supposed to come with a CD-ROM. All the data that I needed. But it didn't. Um, this whole Sweet Vision thing. It was supposed to come with software and such. But the only software it had was on floppy. So I couldn't use it. This thing doesn't have a floppy drive. So I was able to, unable to do that. But yeah. So let's go into the control panel. And I'm going to pull up system so I can show you uh, once it pops up. I can show you uh, the processor stuff, like all the important things that you guys all want or don't care about. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not your mom. Um, yeah, it's a little difficult to see. I'm literally just recording this on my phone because I have been having tr trouble with my editing software. And I would use my camera. My DSLR camera. And there it is. I must have not done it right. Uh, but it doesn't... It records an AVI, and my editing software does not like AVI. Okay, as you can tell, we've got... This is a Dell Optiflex GX280 Intel Pentium 4 CPU running at 3 gigahertz. 2.99 gigahertz, whatever. <laughs> and there's 1.5 gigs of RAM. This is 1.49, but it's obviously 1.5. Register to reception. Uh, must be reception desk. I'm guessing. Must have been why the thing said reception. Uh, in the username when I was editing the thing. Yeah. XP Professional version 2002 to so respect 3. This came on it. Uh, there was Office 2003. And I only have Word 2002. Just Word, by the way. Because I have the works pack that came with the other computer. Yeah. Here's this. Uh... Here, there's a nothing super interesting here. It's just you know exists. Yeah, as you can tell, there are two hard disks on here. And we're gonna go into my computer. I'm gonna click here. And I'm gonna show you all the stuff that's hooked up, I believe. Oopsie. Okay. Just some stuff that came with the thing. I think it's just the server stuff that... Here. Now, this DVD drive... Um, this... H... This is a virtual thing that I have installed. Um, so, ignore that. That's not actual hardware. But we've got a DVD drive, a DVD RW drive. Uh, we've got... Look at this C and look at this F. And there's a three and a half inch floppy drive there. Um, some documents folders. So let's, let's look on the disk space. There's, they're both 74, 75 gig, look like 75 gig uh, disks. One's got 12 gigs of free space and the other has 56. Um, what's interesting, um, though, I have installed some games on here. So we're going to load up. I believe I have Sims installed. So, I'm going to pop open the tray here. Got my copy of The Sims I got for two bucks at Goodwill. Jeez, this thing's in great shape, though. Goodwill's awesome. Jeez. Open the case. Jeez. Why is it so difficult to open the case? I'm going to grab the disc, pop it in the tray, should load up, and play. Should pop up. And I'll show you how fast the loading screen is for this. 
Um, I actually have not played The Sims yet on this, but as this is faster than the one I've tested it on before, it's going to be really fast. Um, if you've played The Sims, you know about the loading screen and how it has a scrolling text. Oh, there's a loading thing. It's going to pop up. Ah. Boom, so I've already gotten it installed. And we're gonna play in this mode. Um, it's not gonna play in widescreen because um, the original version of The Sims did not support widescreen, interestingly, which is weird. You know, that, the resolution is not 1024 by 768, so it might just be that. Woo, the colors just changed, weird. Weird camera is weird. So it should load up in a moment. It might be slower, though. I don't know how fast it's going to go. Skip the opening sequence since it's really long. Yeah, so this one's going a little slower than the other one. Um, the other one would just go... Wheel, 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 wheel. I think this was there's a lot of stuff already running on here. But that's still pretty dang fast. Look at that. It's not the fastest, but it's pretty dang fast. Boom. So, as you know, I haven't played on this one yet. So, it's still show me. Remember how to play the game? Somewhat looking game. It's a little slow. Run a lot faster on the other computer. Cancel the tutorial. Boom! Bob. Joke. Make a joke. So this thing has music. Background music. No versions of the Sims just don't have that. It's interesting playing in this perspective, as I personally have... I'm used to playing it without background music. This is all new to me. I I usually play The Sims 3. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna exit The Sims. Gonna exit. Yeah. But that's about it. This computer's pretty interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff on here. And I intend to do a lot more with this in the future, but for now, that's about it. Thanks for watching. This has been Pizza Bagel, and you're going to see a whole lot of new videos as I work with this hardware and some software. So, uh, yeah, look forward to some new videos in the future. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Am I going to put outro music on this one?